Hi, I'm Pete Sari with Reverence out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, and we make individually designed 3D printed cremation urns. So really for our clients, the sky is the limit, anything is possible. Um, I can show you a few of the pieces that we have made for clients. This piece is a guitar urn. Oh my god! Here. Okay, so, every, so the cremated remains yep, go in the, the body. The remains would go in there. Okay. Every, every item is printed out of a ceramic composite. It's extremely durable. We can accommodate requests for full volume, or we can uh, just create something that has partial volume in case the client is looking to have some of their, uh, or the family is looking to have some of their ashes scattered, split it up, buried, or, yeah. or split up. This particular piece was a keepsake piece that the family wanted. Um, wow. We always encourage our families to go to an extremely high level of detail, so it doesn't have to be a 57 Chevy, it needs to be that person's 57 Chevy. So if their 57 Chevy had a dented fender or a broken headlight, we can work to that level of detail. Wow. So it's truly an amazing process and it's truly innovative and visual. Now each of these uh, 3D computer printed urns have stories behind them. It's they it's do. the personality of the person. They, they do. We do not uh -huh. have you know, it's hard sometimes to get people to understand that we don't we, we're not we don't make fifty of these and hope that people uh -huh. will buy them throughout the course of a year. They are all individually envisioned, designed, built, and finished in the actual it, it, it should be as true a replica of that particular object as possible. So again it, it, it's not just piano, it's not just a guitar. It's so that piano is because the woman who was cremated loved to play piano. Absolutely. And this car is the pride and joy of the man who owned the car. Yeah, it's, it's whatever is a meaningful representation of that person's life. So we allow funeral directors not to have to just jump to a catalog and say, here are the five or ten urn selections. It's, it's, it's giving them the opportunity to keep the conversation focused on legacy. And, and, and not just block it. And what kind of reception are you getting? We're getting here? an outstanding reception. I think it, it takes a little bit. It takes a little while for people to kind of get there, you know. Because we, when we first show this, even when I've taken it out to funeral directors individually, the first thought is, okay, so you make piano-shaped birds. And it's nope. It's literally anything. And I think there's a little bit of a paradox of choice almost with the notion of anything, right? Because. Um, you know, so you, you think that that would be a freeing or liberating idea, but for many people that's debilitating. When you say that it can be anything, uh, now that requires a little bit of a process to decide what that item actually is. So, and do you have a website where people can learn more? We do. It's www.foreverence.com, and I know I don't need the www anymore. 